Uh, one month ago, Jeremy Lin was a bench warmer for the New York Knicks and was on the brink of being cut by his third NBA team in two seasons. But on March 4th, he got significant playing time against the New Jersey Nets. Came up big with 25 points and seven assists and a win. Less than a week later, in his third start, he scored 38 points in a nationally televised game against Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. As Lin kept putting up big numbers, making clutch shots, and leading the Knicks to win after win, the media and fan frenzy became a phenomenon unlike any that we've ever seen. So Lin, an undrafted player who graduated from Harvard, is the first NBA player of Chinese or Taiwanese American descent and fourth Asian American player overall. His rise, which has had elements of surprise, suspense, excitement, and controversy, has become a story that has transcended sports and dominated pop culture and even general news coverage over the past month. So Bob, some of the things that Jeff mentioned there, so Asian American, Harvard, undrafted, playing in New York City. Of those factors, what, how would you rank those factors as far as what made Lynn Sanity Lynn Sanity? Uh, that's a good question. I, I think, again, not being 100% sure I'm right, but I would think that the number one factor, I'm going to say playing in New York City. He's playing in the media capital. Um, on the team where he had the opportunity to surprise with uh, the success and the exposure. And, and also, I think there was, a, a, to a large degree, and the others I'm sure have feelings about this, the timing was really right. His insertion into the lineup against the Nets, the Giants had just won the Super Bowl. There was a very good New York City sports vibe going on. He wanted to keep the party going. He comes <laughs> in, he does well. Um, underdog story, so I say that, that, that the Harvard element is, is an aspect of that. Um, for a long time, I felt that in, in most of uh, what started as the city then became the country and the world, um, the Asian piece was not the dominant piece, uh, unless you were Asian American. <laughs> Uh, in which case, it was number one with the bullet <laughs> and remains the top story. But um, I think, by and large, that was not the compelling aspect. And I just remember that week. I mean, you know, we talk about this like it's ingrained in deep history. We're talking about a month's worth of, of activity. In the first couple of days, you know, I was at the gym and I heard people talking, not Asian American, and they were just really psyched that the Knicks had a point guard. I mean, that was basically... The, the beginning and ending of it, and, and the way he played, obviously, was exciting to them. But, uh, you know, never, and I was listening, you know, never once did they, you know, anyone say, and, you know, and he's an Asian American guy or anything like that. I just, it wasn't part of the story. Mm. But I think we've got two stories going on, and I think that's maintained itself. We've got what Jeremy Lin is to Asian Americans and what he is to everyone else. And those stories are starting to merge a little. Well, you know, what's interesting, and I, I come to this as being the only person who's not a sports writer on this panel, you know, and, and I have the, I think, good fortune here to be talking about culture, to write about culture, because that's where I think the lasting impact of, of Jeremy Lin's going to be, regardless of where his ultimate career is. And, you know, there are arguments on my, my Facebook page right now about whether he's an elite player. I think that's a crazy argument, right? Um, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll get into it because it's fun. Uh, um, but in, in a larger sense, I mean, I think that what Jeremy Lin represents is, at the very least, a watershed in, A, how Asian Americans think about themselves, B, to a certain extent, how the, the world and the nation think about Asian Americans, and C, I actually think that there's an impact within the NBA itself on how it looks at uh, its assessment of players, period. I mean, setting aside the, the race thing alone or even the Harvard thing alone, I think uh, there's a very strong sense that, especially you know, in a year in which you know, the movie Moneyball was actually nominated for a Best Picture. It's never going to win, but, you know, uh, and it didn't. So, uh, but this, this notion of this re reflection on how we think about sports, you know, what works, what doesn't, you know, whether or not it's just about having good a good body or, or, you know, hitting certain metrics you know, that makes a player. You know, we talk about intangibles, right? Uh, there was actually a really great place, uh, piece in, in uh, the Times talking about, you know, his, his uh, work ethic and, you know, I mean, just the way that he actually went back and addressed a lot of his deficits, uh, there are things that don't just show up on, on a stat sheet in a lot of cases that I think really are causing people to think about the game in a different way. And that speaks to the relative history athletically, not just in, in a sport particularly. I think, I mean, I think why we're here on the panel, why we're having a panel, though, is really about sort of what, what Jeff was getting at, which is that 
and, and this is where his, his, his ethnicity, I think, is, is a factor. It is the drawing in of people who are not identifying themselves as sports fans. Mm -hmm. It is the sudden, you know, putting him on the front page, having the, the cottage industry of following this guy, which is really not about sports. I mean, I think that is the phenomenon that, you know, you, you really need to look at and, and say, and even on the, on the negative side, I think some of the, 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 the headlines where people have uh, uh, taken offense to, uh, it's, it's, it's funny, you know, over the span of, of only a few short weeks, you see a new headline, you're like, and as an Asian American, you're like, hmm, okay, let, let, me, <laughs> yeah. let me think about this. Right? Right. How do I right. feel about this? Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> feels right. kind of maybe not good. Right. But like all not, of a sudden yeah. we're having that conversation, though, which yes. in the past probably would never have happened, right? No, like, so I, I think that's yeah. really, that's what the linsanity, there's, mm. there's the first pun, huh. is, is about. That's, right. that's why it's a huge story. It's that everyone else is inter in, interested. I think the sports are just sort of, that's, a, that's an aspect of the story <laughs> that could make or break the rest of it. In the